Virginia Beach, go right ahead. Um, my husband left at 3 a.m. this morning to Iraq, and all I wanted to say, it was pretty hard to see the president, like, condemning his mission. So what exactly is he fighting for? But I just thank you for all the support that you've given the troops, Mark. That's well, all Heather, I wanted to say. Heather, you hang in there, Heather. Let me tell you something. The people of this country so love and adore and support your husband and all of our men and women in the military. Do you know that? Yes, I do. I just want to thank you. And it was just really hard to see that when I came inside the house this morning, apologizing for Iraq. What is he fighting for? So he goes out there, does he die in vain? I mean, well, don't don't allow don't allow don't allow the ignorance and the 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 really outrageous conduct of the president to affect you. Really don't, because. Uh, your husband will be under in the hands of wonderful commanders, and he's backed by the American people. Okay, Heather? I believe that. I, I, I'm a veteran. I believe that. I know that. Well, it's true. It's true. Thank we'll, you, we'll call, call next you. week. Well, God bless you. Thank you, your family, and, and give your husband our best, will you? I will. Thank you, Mark. All right. Take care. See, folks, that wasn't a good speech. That speech sucked. Now, the liberals like it. The media like it. Some of the jerks with microphones like it, but I told you it was a fraud, and he's a fraud too. He's demoralizing our armed forces, particularly our combat forces. There's a wife who sees her husband going off to war in Iraq who just heard her president say it's a war of choice and other stupid stuff. Then I have to read even on some of my favorite websites. Well, I would expect the president to say. He's got to say that. He's making nice. No, he doesn't have to say any of that. He's the commander-in-chief. It's time for Obama to grow the hell up, become mature, respect this country, and respect the people of this country. Because he doesn't.